Hey everybody, it's your host Mike Gap, and today we'll be explaining what the heck exactly are NFTs since they're so popular right now and how we can buy and sell NFTs for a profit. So I'll show you step by step on how to purchase and create your own NFT, what they are and why people are purchasing them. Watch the video in full, that way you will become an NFT pro since a lot of people are making thousands if not millions off this and possibly you might be the next NFT millionaire. And really quick, if you guys enjoy videos like this where I cover full in depth reviews and tutorials on crypto and NFTs, just let me know by hitting the like button. That gives me a really good gauge if these are the types of videos you want to see more of and it helps my entire channel tremendously. So thank you guys so much. Okay, so the word NFT is obviously an acronym which stands for non-fungible token. Now what is fungible? So fungibility is the property of a good or commodity whose individual units are essentially interchangeable and each of whose parts is indistinguishable from another part. We tend to use fungible assets for business because they're the best types of assets to be used to make purchases since one US dollar always equals one US dollar. The same could be said for one ounce of silver always equals to one ounce of silver. And even if you have four US quarters, that still equals to one US dollar. And so no value was lost and both are interchangeable to one another. They are essentially the same, they are fungible. However, a non-fungible asset is basically any commodity in which their valuation is specific to it and is not equally interchangeable to even its duplicate. So real estate or property is an example of a non-fungible asset because one home in California doesn't mean it will be of the same value to another home in California. This is due to the maintenance of the home, the location of the home, the size of the home, and etc. Now, even if the asset is the same, like let's say two cars made in the same manufacturer line, year, specs, and color, the reality is each car has its own unique experience. One car might have a manufacturer defect, the other car might have a slightly more efficient gas mileage. But at the end of the day the valuation of the car is specific to the specific car and therefore these cars cannot be just equally interchanged in value however the gas they use can be interchanged since one liter of gas is pretty much equivalent to another liter of gas and thus gas is a fungible asset other examples of non-fungible assets are artwork collectibles anything from pokemon cards to action figures and also encrypted digital tokens which are also known as nfts so we learned about fungibility, but why the token aspect? Like what does the token refer to in non-fungible tokens? Well, the token is the digital certification that is stored on the blockchain. Similar to how Bitcoin or Ethereum is stored on the public crypto ledger or the public record keeping system. And so from that, we have an NFT, which is a digital asset that cannot be equally interchanged for any other digital asset. And it's publicly verified through the blockchain. So, all right, now what's the big deal? Why are people spending hundreds thousands or millions on these images that anybody could technically print screen or take a snapshot from their camera. Honestly, I don't know, but we should consider these two things on why people are paying such crazy prices. One, NFTs are verifiable by the blockchain and no one can technically steal your ownership. Two, flexing powers. People love to flex, especially people who love to flex their social status and the assets they own. And therefore, like most luxury goods, NFTs are purchased more so for a status symbol than practicality. And since they're verifiable and can only be owned by one person, it makes NFTs have this unique and rare value. Like the scientists at MIT aren't going to spend $42,000 on Rolex watches so that they can measure time more accurately. It's the wealthy that spend $42,000 on a Rolex watch because they can. They don't buy it because a Rolex makes it easier or better to tell the time of day. It's simply purchased because it's a luxury good that displays status. Now, as the world becomes more digital, seeing how it already is, everything from Netflix to social media to our work is heavily reliant on this digital world known as the internet. And as space grows on the internet, more people naturally will just want to purchase a piece of this space and want to display their status on it. Whether a skin for their Fortnite character, a website domain, or an NFT. So both in the digital and physical world, people love to show off their status, and this is why NFTs are being sold and purchased at ridiculous prices because of status and the ability to verify the owner to that said status. Not only is it for status, a lot of NFTs are collectible and this collectability can heavily influence its valuation. You can see this in like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Digimon cards, and the Magic Gathering 
gathering cards and probably anything else that's similar to these. And so certain NFT sets gain a huge following and thus the demand for them increases and so the price they're sold at can skyrocket. Now a lot of NFT collectibles are purchased by those who actually like the artist's work or likes the community the NFT is set by. However, other people purchase into NFT collectibles because they see it possibly gaining traction and wanting to profit from it. And so they will quickly purchase into the NFT collectibles and then hopefully flip it for a profit. Now this whole niche of NFTs is brand new and the majority of NFTs, NFT collectibles, and NFT websites, like 98% of them, are or will become worthless. Though a tiny percentage will definitely be around in the long term and they will increase in valuation too. So I just think it's wise to know what NFTs are and how to buy and sell them. Even if all of this sounds super crazy and nuts, NFTs are and people are making real money with it. All right, so now that we learned what NFTs are, let's go and do some NFT purchasing and selling. First things first, we need to head off to OpenCIO. Now, what is OpenCIO? It's not an aquarium store, but rather the largest marketplace to buy and sell NFTs. Okay, so once you're on the website, click on create right on top. And then we need to connect our Ethereum wallet to this. I recommend using MetaMask simply because it's the easiest method. However, there are other options you can choose from. So click on get MetaMask, install the Chrome extension, and once installed, click get started. We can now create our wallet. Please click create a wallet and then click I agree. Then type in a secure password, not your pet's name with one at the end. Then click create. Now it will show us a video discussing the recovery phrase. Click next, then all you need to do is jot down this recovery phrase. It's best that this phrase is kept offline and kept somewhere really, really safe and accessible by only you. And then click next, then confirm your security phrase, and then click all done. So at this point, we need to fund our MetaMask wallet. The easiest way would be to go to the exchange that you normally shop for cryptocurrencies. In my scenario, since I'm in Canada, I currently purchase from Newton.co, but if you purchase from Coinbase or Binance or Gemini or whatever, the process will be pretty similar. So let's go into MetaMask and copy our Ethereum wallet address. And then let's head over to the exchange where you either hold or purchase cryptocurrencies from. So for me, that will be Newton.co. We are going to then transfer Ethereum to our MetaMask wallet because MetaMask and OpenSea are based on the Ethereum network. And so we need Ethereum as our main choice of cryptocurrency. So now please paste in your MetaMask Ethereum wallet into your exchange so that you can then send your Ethereum. So we're going to go over our exchange Newton, paste in our wallet address and set the amount that we want to withdraw. I'll transfer 200 Canadian dollars worth of Ethereum to my MetaMask wallet. This transfer can take from a couple seconds to possibly one hour. It depends on the amount of traffic in the blockchain at the time. However, just check your MetaMask wallet casually and eventually you'll see the Ethereum has been transferred in. It does vary a little bit, but just keep an eye on your MetaMask wallet and it'll pop up there. So for me, it only took a couple seconds and it's in our MetaMask wallet right over here. Now it's time to buy some art. Now we're back over to OpenCIO. We're going to click sign in. We're signing into our MetaMask. Here we have our account. Okay, so here we are and this is my account. We'll buy our first NFT and on OpenSea, you can browse so many different NFTs, NFT collections and or sets. And if you have a specific system or method in terms of profiting and or buying and flipping NFTs, then you can go ahead and do that too. Now, NFTs are super high risk assets. Not only do you have to worry about the Ethereum you're using to make the purchase, since it could possibly lose valuation in itself, but also the NFT itself. Like if no one's going to purchase the NFT for at least the price you purchased it at, then you're at risk of losing its value. And it doesn't even end there because with Ethereum, you can easily list it on the open market and liquidate it for cash. Whereas for NFT, the liquidity is nowhere near that. You are limited to one individual buyer for you to be able to liquidate it. So just as a disclaimer, make sure to be safe on the NFT markets. It's significantly more speculative than anything right now in the world. So you don't wanna be putting your retirement savings into this and thinking you're gonna be that 0.5% that makes a huge return on it. Most likely you won't. Okay, while I'm browsing, I found some collections just to show you guys. However, we'll just purchase this one as an example. The cost is 1470 US dollars or 0.005 Ethereum. To purchase this, we need to click on buy now and check this box and then it will connect you to your MetaMask wallet. At this point, you're going to see the shocking gas fees. Yes, you need to pay for petrol to obtain your NFT. I'm kidding, by the way. So the gas fees have nothing to do with petrol or gasoline, but rather it has to do with the fee associated with the process of facilitating the trade. Unfortunately, this gas fee is very high and it's probably one of the main factors preventing more people from getting into NFTs. Like, look at that price. It's like around 50 US dollars. It's more than the actual NFT itself. 
You could possibly lower the amount of the gas fees by changing the transaction speed settings. Basically, the faster you want the transaction to go through, the more you'll pay. So pick the slower option if you want to save that money. Now gas fees should go away or at least be cheaper once the better upgraded Ethereum 2.0 network comes out. This isn't a new coin, but rather an upgrade to the Ethereum network. Also, if we could be able to purchase NFTs with ADA, then gas fees would be significantly lower too, but unfortunately that's just not the case. Anyways, let's finalize this purchase and get our NFT. The total price is around 54 US dollars and the gas fees were 39.50 US dollars. The gas fees are higher than the actual NFT, but obviously this will depend on the NFTs you would like to buy. Most are actually a lot higher than the gas fees, so they're kind of negligible, but on the lower end, it's not. Anyways, we'll confirm here, and now I'm the proud and verified and sole owner of this NFT. Now let's try creating our own NFT and putting it on the OpenSea Marketplace. So we will go to the Create tab right over here on OpenSea.io, and now we have the ability to upload pretty much any type of file to be used as our NFT. The file can be a picture file such as JPEG or PNG, or video file such as MP4, or an audio file such as MP3. Basically, you can create an NFT or also known as minting an NFT from any digital asset then list and or sell it on the marketplace. So what I'm gonna do is list an image that I drew and will be minted as an NFT. We're going to upload this cute whale image as our NFT. And then we will fill in the description for it and then click create. After that, we will click on sell over here. There are different methods to sell your NFT like as a set price, English auction, or as a Dutch auction. I'll choose the English auction style bidding with one ETH reserve and a low minimum bid that way we can get this NFT sold. So whenever you're selling NFTs on OpenSea, there will always be a 2.5% fee that OpenSea takes, but there's also the gas fees you have to consider. Unfortunately, when you're just starting out, you have to pay a couple fees to get started, two to be exact, so that you're able to list and sell your NFT. Okay, so you have to complete two one-time transactions. Basically, the first transaction is to start up your account for making orders, and this only needs to be done once for your account. And then the second transaction is to allow OpenSea to have access to your items or whatever NFTs are inside your wallet. Now we will click post your listing and we will then see the super high gas fee that we will need to pay. However, for the sake of this video, we'll agree with it and finalize the creation. If you like the video so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. As you can see, the first transaction is pretty big. I heard that the fees can range from somewhere between $50 to even $500. Now, depending on the time of day and what's happening, you could possibly pay a cheaper fee. Anyways, after we confirm, the NFT is listed for sale. And by the way, the link is in the description below if you want to examine my beautiful artwork or go to mikegap.com forward slash whale. And just to show you, when I post another NFT, there is no fee as shown here. So you only pay those one-time fees when you're first selling on OpenSea. With that being said, OpenSea is a marketplace where you can sell any NFTs. However, there are dedicated NFT sites for specific collections, such as the dogepoundnft.com or the coolcatsnft.com. These are just two examples. So this video is just the beginning. I recommend venturing out and learning more about this new industry because there's so much more to come especially if you're an artist and see the value in collecting art and making money from it. This is definitely huge. Now, if you have any tips of your own for NFTs or if you're launching your own collection, let me know in the comment section down below. With that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also feel free to add me on Instagram and TikTok. I post pretty much daily. So if you wanna be a part of that, feel free. And lastly, if you want completely two free stocks now worth up to $4,500, use the link down below in the description and sign up. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what free stocks you get. And until next time, this is your host, Mike Gap. Peace.